What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanna to talk about battery charge versus discharge. We talk a lot about batteries on my channel and so I think it's important for us to understand this concept. It's actually something that I didn't fully understand until just recently myself. We're gonna talk about two concepts in this video. One is state of charge, which is how close to full the battery is, and depth of discharge, which is how close to empty the battery is. These two terms are inversely proportional, so as state of charge decreases, the depth of discharge increases. But it's important to know which one you're talking about when you're talking about batteries, or things can get confusing pretty quickly. As an example, I'm gonna use one of my favorite all-time batteries for solar, the T105RE by Trojan Battery Company. So here we have a chart provided by the manufacturer that shows the voltage at each state of charge. You'll notice that zero state of charge does not equal zero volts. And then I added the column on the right to double that voltage to give us a 12 volt equivalent voltage. So since this battery is a lead acid battery, typically you do not want to go below 50% depth of discharge or 50% state of charge, which is actually 12.1 volts. On a side note, charging and discharging of a battery is greatly affected by hot and cold. But we'll go ahead and talk about that in another video another time. So who cares? Why is this important? As I alluded to earlier, there are certain rules of discharging batteries, such as the 50% rule on a deep cycle lead acid battery, or the 20% rule on a car battery. If you discharge the battery below those thresholds, you will drastically reduce the life of the battery. So back to our Trojan T105 RE battery for a second. This is a chart from the manufacturer showing the number of lifetime cycles on the left and the depth of discharge on the bottom. And as you can see, the more that you discharge the battery, the lower the lifetime cycles gets. Past 50%, it gets pretty ugly. So let's talk strategy for a minute. If we were building a battery bank with these T105RE batteries, and we sized it so that we never discharged more than 20%, we would get 4,000 cycles out of those batteries. However, if we went to 50%, that would drop to 1,600 cycles, and then going all the way down to 100% would only give us 800 cycles. And this is true for every type of battery. As you can see, this is a lithium ion battery, and we go from at 10% depth of discharge, well over 100,000 cycles, down to about 5,000 if you discharge the thing all the way down to zero. Here's a lithium iron phosphate battery, which has the same problem. Although it can cycle more times, it still, if you go all the way to zero, it shortens the life greatly. And here's a nickel iron battery for good measure, same type of thing though, the more you discharge it, the lower the life cycles. In summary, no matter what type of battery you choose to use for your battery bank, for your solar panel system, or for whatever project you're working on, it's important to keep in mind the relationship between how often and how deep you discharge your battery and how long that battery is going to last. Well that wraps up another video. If you learned something, hit subscribe and there will be more cool videos on the way.